Yo, what is up, YouTube? This is Boy Aqua Psycho. We're coming at you with another video. And today, hold on, let me just my mic. Alright. Today is the second episode of Storytime Sunday, which I told you guys in my last video, or not my last video, I think it was the video before that, or it was one of those videos I see on my channel, but um, it was a time I came home and almost got caught high and drunk. And before we start this, I want to tell you guys I apologize for making. Most of my videos on my channel from Nuketown, there's not like a large variety of maps, so <clears throat> it's kind of hard to get good games on those maps. So I usually get the good games on smaller maps, but like on the bigger maps like Infection and stuff, I tend, well I tend to get good games on those like if I play Safeguard or something, but like I don't play like, I don't play all those other games I used to play, I don't know why. I just don't, I'm just, I'm just not a fan of pubs anymore, honestly, well, I'm a fan of it, but like, I like, pubs in this game is really enjoyable, like, I can play it all day, but I just choose not to do it, because it does make me better, but, uh, anyways, um, <clears throat> let's get into the story time Sunday, episode two, guys, so, uh, time I got caught, or time I almost got caught, I should say, high and drunk, so, it was, I say, about right after the summer end or ended. Excuse me. Um, it was like in September, October. My friend told me his brother was throwing a party, so I was like, "Oh, cool, that's what's up." I was like, "I'm probably gonna slide by with my um, with my niggas." So, uh, we decide to go to the party, hit up people from like like Norfolk and Hampton and stuff, see if they were gonna go to the party too trying to get this party jumping, you know what I'm saying? So, um, after we contact those people and they make sure they can go, like, cause we hit up, like, a lot of people. Like, you don't understand how many people we got. We got people from Instagram. Uh, we got people from other people's Snapchats that didn't even know. Norfolk, Williamsburg, all them places, man. So, uh, after we got all of them, we just decided to go to the party and turn up. So, we went to the party and it didn't start to like 30 minutes so I was like alright we'll just wait out here listen to music chill so we chill and wait for the party we started there for an hour like after the party started it was dead man that's why we did not go in we did not go in the party it was dead and like I guess there's a policy like he's not gonna remember everybody at the party so uh I guess once you pay your money you don't go outside unless it's in the backyard but I guess since we were the first people there and he knew us very well, well, um, we just gave him our three dollars there and we kept leaving in and out to go places and stuff. So and people just got like the party starts at like eight and it end, ended at one, I believe. So I ended up um, leaving at like twelve thirty, I think. But um, <clears throat> so there's like it's like an hour into the party, there's nobody there. Everybody's all the niggas are yelling where are the bitches at where are the bitches so we're just sitting there waiting for him man like then no, nobody's showing up he's about the party hoster he's really just about to end the party because there's nobody showing up and then just as soon as he's about to just call the party off a whole bunch of trucks and cars and stuff come down the street for the party beer and stuff and i mean i don't drink beer like i'm not I'm not like a fan of it. Well, I've only drunk it like once, and it was like, I think it was like Bud Light, and I wasn't that much of a fan of it. But they had like that kind of stuff, and but the thing is, I'm surprised nobody had any weed with them. So I was like, okay, whatever. It's gonna be like a normal tour party. So we got to the party. We're dancing with the girls. We're talking. We're having fun. Um, and then this dude calls up my friend. He was like, dude, y'all need. He was like, um. He was like, what y'all doing? I was like, we had a party. Can you uh, um, hook us up with some party favors? He was like, anytime, bro. He was like, as long as I can get in the party for free, I'll hook you up with some party favors. He was like, alright, bet you can get into the party for free. So, the dude shows up, brings a whole lot of alcohol and weed. Like, I don't, I don't know how much weed it was. It was like, maybe like $200 worth, honestly. And he he's the one who sells this shit, so. Just peep that, it's like, it's loud. <laughs> not no Reggie or no shit is loud but anyways um uh after that we start like 
like they're selling blunts and stuff and uh alcohol and stuff for like five dollars because they're not gonna give you a blunt for a dollar come on dude like, you know that right now if you're if you're a big weed head you know that but anyways um yeah you know they're not gonna give you that so i paid five dollars for one thing of alcohol and um a blunt so i'm smoking it while i'm getting some twerk and then like I didn't realize how much I was smoking because my friend didn't want his, so I took his after I smoked mine, and then dude, I was high as fuck. And then I drank the beer and I, I got, I got wasted, dude. Or I could say I got drunk, whatever, whatever you like to say. Um, but yeah, I was fucked up. And it, peep this guy, it was like 12. That's when I wanted to leave. It was like no, it was like yeah, it was like 12:15. I was supposed to, I was supposed to actually leave at 11. I was going to my cousin's house to do something with him, but curfew was at 11, and I was still at his house to 12:30. So I was like, "Dude, I'm gonna leave the party. I'm already fucked up enough. And I hope my parents are asleep so I can just get in the house quietly and then sleep this sleep this shit off." So I'm walking, and then there's a police officer um, riding down the street because the curfew's at 11 o'clock. So I had to run to the uh, other side of the street to get in the bushes or something. And then he left our neighborhood. I ran, and then I didn't know what was going on, dude. I was I was messed up. And then I ran across the street, and then a white car almost hit me, dude. Like, that was the time I was. And my mom was like, "What are you doing?" Like she opened the door and saw me running home. She was like, "Why are you running like that? Why are you walking so weird? Why are you? Why?" She was like, "Why are your eyes red?" I was like, "Cause I got hit in the eye." That's what. I, <laughs> it sounded real dumb as hell at the point or at the moment. But yeah, that's that's basically the time I almost got caught high, and I came in the house to go in the kitchen, then go in the bathroom to wash my eyes out and pretend I was using the bathroom. But anyways, I didn't. But I hope you guys like the story. Please like, comment, subscribe, share this to all your friends. I'm trying to get as much views. Please subscribe to my channel for more content. My Instagram, Snapchat, and Kick, or Instagram. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace.